Hi everyone, uh, it is good to meet you all in the next video of Python tutorial series. In this video, we will be implementing multiple linear regression in Python language. So in multiple linear regression, we have two or more feature variables and one target variable. We will be having at least two uh, feature variables. So when we visualize it, it will become three dimensions when we have uh, two feature variables and one target variable, which can be visualized using our matplotlib. In our videos, we usually uh, go for Jupyter Lab, but this time I have used Jupyter Notebook because I have tried uh, 3D uh, visualization with the interaction mode uh, in Jupyter Lab, but it was not uh, working unfortunately. So I have decided to go with Jupyter Notebook this time. So Jupyter Notebook can be uh, launched using uh, Anaconda Navigator like um, here we have Jupyter Notebook. Uh, we usually launch uh, Jupyter Lab, but uh, this time we are going to launch Jupyter Notebook. Uh, so go here and click on Launch. Uh, I have already launched it. Here, if you see, we have uh, imported uh, uh, matplotlib.pyplot uh, for visualization. And uh, as usual, we have uh, pandas, numpy, uh, linear model, uh, metrics, model selection, uh, train test split. These are all. Uh, gets carried forward from uh, simple uh, linear regression the only thing uh, if you noticed uh, we have uh, mentioned matplotlib with uh, notebook magic function this enables us uh, interact uh, with our 3d uh, plot which we are going to generate in this video so i am going to import all this yes i have imported it these are all warnings you can uh, ignore so from this data sets, uh, uh, from scikit-learn we are going to Im import uh, Boston data set again. So let's see what Boston is having. It is having data, target. Here data is nothing but uh, all our feature variables. So let's load this uh, Boston data set as a pandas data frame. First we are going to extract only the feature variables. So this is how we create a data frame data frame and from this we are going to extract uh, the data part alone from the Boston uh, data set so it will return us uh, Boston data uh, we can mention columns using this uh, list so this list is nothing but a collection of uh, column names so Boston dot feature names and Boston Y is nothing but our target variable I'm going to name it as uh, y y itself Boston dot target so yes we have a uh, Boston X data frame and uh, y so from this Boston X we we are going to choose only uh, two feature variables we already know that uh, average rooms per uh, building has a positive linear relationship uh, with our target variable so we are going to choose uh, one more uh, feature variable so for that uh, uh, i'm going to plot it we have uh, plotted uh, l stat which is having a negative linear uh, relationship so l stat is nothing but uh, lower status of uh, population so which means lower the population higher the prices of home in boston so for this uh, we are going to uh, develop a multiple linear regression model so from this boston uh, data set uh, feature variables i am going to extract only lstat and rm and uh, i will be creating a data frame now so we need to concatenate both of this for that i am going to use numpy uh, method which is np.c underscore which uh, concatenates both our uh, series lstat and rm and returns us uh, a combined uh, array yes we have uh, just created uh, a data frame with uh, only uh, lstat and rm so as usual uh, we are going to uh, split our train and uh, test uh, data so using this train test uh, split method yes we have done it so this is our model uh, regression reg 
next we have uh, created our model reg now we are going to train our model using fit x train comma y train yes uh, we have uh, trained our model now now we are going to predict for x test and uh, store it into uh, y predict these are all similar steps to be followed uh, as in uh, simple linear regression so now we are going to predict for x test and uh, storing it into y predict we have done it we have done the prediction now now let us uh, visualize it so this is uh, the most fun part uh, for visualization uh, in simple linear regression we just had a single feature variable and uh, one uh, target variable so for that uh, two dimensional plotting was enough but here we are going to plot uh, our uh, graph in three dimensional because we have uh, two feature variables uh, L stat and RM. So let's see how to uh, plot it. First, let us uh, plot uh, the data points of uh, Y test and uh, X test. So for this, I am going to declare a fig uh, method. Figure. This figure method provides us uh, various uh, customizations for our plot. So we are going to add a subplot AX triple one specifies that uh, we just uh, going to have only one plot and uh, we are going to mention that uh, our projection is 3d so I have mentioned 3d now we are going to plot a scatter plot so that can be done using stat we are going to provide uh, three dimensional information x y z l stat rm so we are giving uh, this uh, x y z parameters so and we are going to plot this uh, actual parameters in red color it will be a uh, data point so marker will be o so now let's plot our predicted data this time it will be in green did not show let's set labels medv is nothing but our target so yes we have plotted it as you can see we have x y and z axis and uh, you can interact uh, with this uh, plot by clicking on this using your mouse and uh, rotating it so you can do whatever you want so here uh, green is our prediction and uh, red is actual so and more or less they are uh, placed nearby to each other so in this uh, plot we are going to add our uh, regression plane Yes, I mentioned plane because uh, it is not line anymore. It is three dimensional. So it is a plane surface. So we are going to plot a surface plot for our trained model. So for plotting, uh, we are going to check the maximum value of uh, Y prediction. Max of Y prediction is uh, 39. So we are going to have uh, data points now I'm going to name it as X's and Y's so we can use uh, tile method uh, provided from uh, numpy it creates a data point for us np dot uh, a range here np dot a range is nothing but array range so it starts from 0 to 40 because our uh, maximum value of uh, Y prediction was uh, 39 so I'm going up to 40 and we have to mention the shape here 40 comma 1 and y's will be the same but it will be transposed and z is nothing but our formula which is xs multiplied by our uh, regression coefficient regression dot coefficient of zero we'll be having two coefficients and one intercept because we have a two-dimensional feature set so plus intercept now we are going to plot a surface for this which is nothing but our plane plot surface here we can mention 
xs ys and z so we have mentioned uh, three dimensionals and the alpha value as 0.5 so yes as you can see we have uh, plotted our uh, regression plane so as i interact uh, you can see that uh, our uh, green data points which is nothing but our uh, predictions these predictions lie on our uh, plane i recommend you to uh, do it yourself implement it and uh, check it yourself for this we can also calculate the various errors which are mean absolute uh, mean square error and uh, root mean square error as we did in uh, simple linear regression so we have 4.5 as a mean absolute error mean square error is uh, 32 and root mean square error is 5.6 so hope you understood uh, multiple linear regression and uh, hope you enjoyed the 3d plotting in the next video we will be discussing about polynomial regression in python language so until then see you have a great day